I knew ever since I was 16, but um, just like I said, it was never looked upon that you kind of go through life thinking something is wrong other than that. And it was never focused on until I turned 24 because that's when I started being more aware mm -hmm. about, okay, there's something called anxiety. There's something called depression. They're actually serious. They're not just what people say. Oh, everybody has anxiety. Everybody's Let depressed. it go. Everyone's كله, depressed. كله Everybody's depressed. Yeah, and don't worry about it. It's just like a phase. Maybe yeah. you're just going through a bad time or a bad phase. And you start thinking, maybe, maybe it is. But then the pain is still there or whatever physical pain is, is manifesting itself is still there. And you start wondering when you start. That's when you start wondering, oh, what if I have cancer? What if I have a tumor? What if I have something affecting my body? And you start obsessing over things because you're trying to find a solution, you know. Yeah. And really all it was is that I needed to focus and educate myself on what it means to have anxiety, severe anxiety, mild anxiety. It differs and or what it means to have severe depression or any kind of mental illness. So that's when I took the journey to really educate myself. I had gone to the doctor once when my when I was driving, my hand fully died out, my hand and foot fully died out. I was driving on Sheikh Zayed Road and I just stood on the side of the road and I'm like, <laughs> This this has just gone overboard. I really need to find out what's happening. So I go to a nerve doctor and he tests me all over my heart, my nerves, my body, whatever, my mind, my brain, sorry. And he goes, this is the report and it's fully healthy. <laughs> and I was happy, but I was devastated because I'm like, if I'm healthy, then what is happening? <laughs> and it wasn't happening at the time at the doctor's office. So as soon as he got in the report, my hand actually died out. It was it was not the answer you were expecting. Maybe you were probably expecting something. So maybe I got anxious yeah. and my hand died out, but I don't know what it was, but I kind of showed him that it's happening right mm -hmm. now and I can't move my hand. And he came to me and he started checking me and he's like, have you ever gone to see a, a psychiatrist? I'm like, no, why? why? Why are you saying that? He goes like, I genuinely believe that you have like severe anxiety or some sort of mm -hmm. something that is psychological and it's nothing to do because here's the report. And he's like, I strongly believe it is anxiety and if, you ca if you'd like that I can prescribe you pills now. Wow, okay. And he's not a psychologist. And I looked at him, I'm like, if you prescribe me these pills, do I have another option? He's like, yeah, you can go take care of yourself. I looked at means, him and, meaning exactly I looked at him um I don't know what that means I was 24 not educated mm -hmm. educating myself so I looked at him I'm like meaning he said just go nourish your brain it's quite vague but okay. vague so yeah. I looked at him I'm like all right thank you and I left ever since then I started actually starting really getting into how do you treat anxiety, what it is? I didn't go to a psychologist or yeah. any kind of psychiatrist yet at the time. Um, but yeah, that's when it started. Okay. The journey of education.